the only thing you can send to your future is your prayer it can go and wait for you your prayer can become your protocol it waits for you at the gates of your tomorrow it checks that tomorrow is ready for you and it if if it finds anything in your tomorrow that can sabotage the does god reveal spouses to people yes he does but i believe strongly that there are two conditions for that number one is based on your personal degree of intimacy and relationship with god and your level of yieldedness to him there is a way i can walk with god and earn certain privileges on on the strength of my intimacy with him i have so given all to god that he knows that whatever choice he makes for me i am that dead to say yes to him based on that god is able to open you up and give you the privilege of using visions and revelations it is rather a unique case or use a prophet to speak to you another key that justifies prophetic revelation is the nature and the kind of assignment there are certain kinds of assignment that will necessarily involve you marrying certain kinds of women or men for instance being in ministry as a man of god because of the nature of your call god will not allow you to just marry anybody you will find out that there are probings and there are dealings. God will be exceptionally meticulous. Aside from these two instances, every other means of marriage in the Bible is simply not just waiting for what you call God's timing. Are you seeing the mistake now? God's timing is when you become a husband, when you become a father, when you become what when you become that it is time for marriage because male and female he created them and god already gave the command be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth when woman was was brought into the sea god saw that it is good so waiting forever to say god wants me to marry in 2020 or god wants me to marry at 50 that's why at 45 i'm not married no 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 it is absolutely up to you if you delay marriage because you are trying to be a husband a father and a priest i salute you don't let anybody push you under pressure and say marry or as a lady if you feel that you need some space to become a wife a mother and a priest i also salute you because it is a sign of honor to both your husband and your wife respectively so the church has been caught up in all these illusions because there has not been a very we have complicated the issue of marriage whereas it is a very very simple thing look at me any brother here that believes that you have trained yourself to be a husband a father and a priest i guarantee you the gates are open for you for marriage and no demon in hell will stop you and any lady that truly you can know you are prepared some of you right now at once you will stop praying oh god when will he come right now you are seeing that truly truly you are not prepared especially for the kind of person you want let me balance this if you have a vision and a dream of a man or a lady keep it to yourself and keep moving on are you hearing what I'm saying? This advice is a blessed advice that will honor you. The Bible says, and Mary kept these things to herself. Whether it comes to pass, it should not ruin your life. Whether there is vision or not, we see in part and we prophesy in part. Whether there be tongues, they will go away. Whether there be prophecy, they will end. But thy word, O Lord, is settled in heaven. Prophecy and visions should never be exalted above the word that will become the secret to disappointment so if god shows you a guy thank god for it if god shows you a lady thank god for it keep those visions honor them but keep preparing to follow the truths of the written word if it so happens that god brings a person and confirms his word 
glory be to God and we give him praise. If it so happens that things did not work exactly as shown in the vision, Lord, I give you praise. I am growing. Are you getting that? This is a recipe for freedom. Otherwise, there will keep being repeated cycles of heartbreaks and disappointment in the church. Right now, when brothers and sisters are getting married, there are people who come for weddings with heart-shattering pain. They sit down and it's almost like a nightmare as they watch the man they have always desired being given to another woman. Or they watch the lady they've seen all their lives in a dream. Listen. We exalt the word of God above any dream. Above any vision. That's the reason why you can dream and see five different ladies at five different times. Do not allow yourself to be discouraged because not everything may be a lie. It may be true. However, make up your mind that this word that abides forever will become your key. So my brother, the key to your marriage is in your hands. My sister, the key to your marriage is in your hands. It's not in the hands of a dream. It's not in the hands of a prophet. It's not even in the hands of God. He has given it to you. When you become a husband, when you become a wife, when you become a father, when you become a mother, and when you become priests, you are ready for marriage. When you are ready to end prophetic and spiritual confusion, when you are ready to make your standards reasonable for a man to come into your life, or your standard reasonable to get a godly wife, when you are ready to refuse ungodly parental influences destroying your life, when you are ready to make alternatives for your finance and your establishment, and when you are finally ready to involve God in your life, then you are ready for marriage. Rise up on your feet. Lift your hands and begin to bless the Lord for tonight. The entrance of your word giveth light and understanding to the simple. Koinonia, lift your voice and pray. Thank the Lord for this freedom.